It's fucked outside. There's wind, a shit ton of it. All the trees, I don't know if you can see, but all the trees are just full, like, all the branches are covered in ice. It's all freezing rain. So, uh, yeah. Dope. Don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I'm here, and, uh, there's no damn power. This is the first time, besides when the guys were doing the wiring, like, for the lights in here, first time that there hasn't been power in here. So I'm assuming the storm's pretty damn bad. Well, I know it is. I was on the way here. It's friggin' down trees, like, big trees, in the, like, in the middle of the friggin' road. I had to take two detours. It's shot outside. It's so shot. So basically what happened was last night it snowed probably a good three inches, and then it started raining, and the temperature kept going, like, from, like, 40, from, like, 35 to 30, 35 to 30, and then it dropped to, like, 20, some, 20, 28 or something like that. And, uh, yeah, for those who aren't familiar with these conditions, these are probably the worst conditions because the roads are so fucked that, like, basically the whole road is black ice, and, like, even snow tires don't do anything here. Like, you need studded tires. Also, I'm, if I sound sick, I'm sorry. I've been blowing my nose for like a solid hour before I came here, but... I don't know. I'm going to try to figure something out because I can't film, like, in the literally in the dark like a fucking vampire for you guys. So, I'm trying to figure something out. Oh, shit. I forgot. I forgot. This is the second time this is going to come in handy. I forgot. I have a generator. Hey. All right, we got lights down here. Not that I need them right now. Okay, well, I need the heat, so my friggin' heater's up there. I can't run everything off of this. This is just like the smaller uh, Harbor Freight one, but I mean, it's like relatively quiet, not the worst. So I guess I'm just gonna chill until the power turns back on and. Uh, I think Travis is on the way and hopefully the power turns back on so we can work on his car. I mean he can still work on it but it's gonna be dark. I don't want him to work on a dark ass car, you know. So up the to the loft we go. Hey mint. Hit the fucking lights. I, I think it's fucking good. It's been like two hours. Is this good? BC Ooh. shit! Let's go! Hey! Okay, I move this. You wanna bring your shit inside? <laughs> no more work. Fucking hell. Travis has to move that. And uh, while I'm moving my car, I might as well go to. Um, oh, it's still a like manual focus. Auto. Oh, no. Here we go. So I'm gonna run to uh, AutoZone, grab some PB Blast so I can hone out my uh, cylindros. Oh shit. Shit, just bump the heat real quick. Fuck. Looks crazy outside. There's so much ice everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I just pressed the brakes. I just straight up spun out. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. This is all ice. I just tried to drift that little thing, went into the snowbank. Alright. Well, if I can find somewhere to do some ice donuts, I'm down. Then I'm just gonna run to, uh, advanced. Jesus. Fucking power line down. Go ahead and go underneath that. I think this area will cooperate. <laughs>
Well, that was fun. <laughs> Time to uh, not overheat this John like it already is right now. It's starting to. No fans on, but whatever. Looks like these guys over here still don't have power. None of these houses got power. Oh, fuck's sake, there's a fucking tree. I'm going. Fuck it. Fuck the bullshit, you know? I'll get fuck these lines. Oh, because the tree's on the fucking power lines. Jesus. Oh, fuck, I gotta go. Fucking hell, dude. I gotta, like, lift this up. I think I got it. Trying not to be a dick and rip this shit. There we go. Jesus. Looks like I'm taking a different way to the shop. Sorry, guy. Get all that. Hey, they're open. That's dope. Look at this dope ass Duramax. God, if I can afford. Oh, dude, this thing's so clean. Holy shit. If I could afford. Maintenance on a Duramax, I'd love one, but 7.3s, as everyone knows, is the broke boy diesel. It's weird, like, I, I always think about this, like, when it snows bad or when there's, like, a lot of power out, shit like that. Like, it must be so fucking horrible in places that actually see, like, this kind of, like, desolation, like, frequently. Or just places like fucking hurricane disaster areas, shit like that. Like, I, I always think about, like, like, damn. It's like weird outside seeing like no one on the road, like power lines down, caution tape up, and like that's because in Connecticut we don't really see shit like this unless it's a real bad storm. But in other places where it gets fucking like tornadoes and hurricanes and wildfires like California, shit like that, it's like fuck. Like that must be some scary shit. That's just like just you know thinking over here, you know, just looking around. I mean, the sky looks cool though the trees all ice everything friggin ice 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 oh no I see flares no never mind it was just the cops setting up friggin oh my god completely just ice that car cops are just setting up the uh, the powers out so there's no road signal so they were just setting up the um, stop signs and whatnot over there no freaking power thank god the shop is back up and going well that's not good Friggin' wind. Oh. Hey, we still got power. Lit. I love this shop. The dudes who plow the dry, like who plow it, they come over here and they like salt and they like shovel and salt the driveways and the sidewalks. So I'm not gonna do none of that. Hello. How's it going? What'd you do? Uh, I have some ATF. What? Jesus fuck. I have, oh man. I have ATF if you want. There's like a couple bottles over there. Yeah, I got a little. Hey, so on this shatty snow day, ice day, it's more of an ice day than a snow day. I have these things. So, PB Blast, cylinders, just gonna move the crank like. Like what, for each cylinder that I do or whatever, I'm just gonna spin this so that the, the journal is like as far down as it can go so that nothing will hit it. I'm not gonna go that far anyway. You'll really need to do like, you can actually see where the piston stops. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Hey dude, I can stroke this right there.
Now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put some ATF on all the cylinder bores and on all the crank journals so it doesn't rust or, you know, stuff like that. So all I'm gonna do is get a rag, put some of this on it and wipe it on there. So in the meantime, it's not gonna rust. Because no one wants rusty, freshly honed cylinders. So he's basically just bleeding his uh, power steering. Turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel until it's good and it doesn't make the noise no more. So I'm just gonna be chilling up here, to be honest. Very good. So your your fucking power steering is mint now. It's good. We got power steering. That's good. While I was gone, Travis friggin' wrapped up my friggin'. We take care of people out here. With <laughs> I came here. I didn't even notice. I just like walked past it. I looked over, this shit's all taped up. I'm like, yo, good looks. But yeah, this is all set for today, maybe tomorrow. Um, if I can get... I don't know, well yeah, it's Monday, Chris should be here. So I should be able to use his... Um, I could just walk through, like there's a door right there, but like... I don't feel comfortable just like going and using his stuff. Even he's, he's told me multiple times that I can, but I just... He's not there, I don't want to do it. So, tomorrow, I'm gonna freaking put all these in the parts washer. I'm literally going to do them one by one so I keep them in the same spot. The pistons themselves, if you're doing rings, no, it doesn't matter. The rods, no, it doesn't matter. But the bearings, if you're reusing bearings or crank whatever, if you're reusing the bearings, basically, you should keep them on the same, the same journal or whatever. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to mix these up. I'm going to bring one over, clean it, put it back, repeat process, and then we'll do ring compressor boys. Mm -hmm. and then I'll have nice refreshed engine and oh shit actually you know what tomorrow I might be able to just bring these to the freaking machine shop get these things machined are your rings in there? my rings? Yeah. what do you mean like up and down? yeah the SR rings didn't have a mark yeah cause that's what Chris was saying mm -hmm. I don't know you could probably look on the new right set here. look yep see the dot? oh yeah the dot is up yep SR didn't have that yeah, cause that's that's when when his SR started smoking. Chris is like, "Oh, did you put the rings on upside down?" It's like, "What are you talking about?" That's that's what he was talking about. Chris Chris knows the things. He's rebuilt all the freaking old engines. And this, it's not a friggin' a 350, but I consider this an old engine, old technology, but it's good technology. But that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.